How can you stream DAW audio from your Mac? Let's talk about it. What's up guys, this is Steven Malin, music composer for The Screen, helping you build a music business that supports your family. Now you might be wondering why I'm sitting in front of a Mac today. Well, many of you know, if you follow me here on YouTube, that I use a custom PC. In fact, I built one about three years ago. If you wanna watch that video, you can check out the card above me. And I've been using that for absolutely everything from my YouTube, Twitch, and music composition. I use it for everything. so. I don't really touch a Mac anymore, but what's interesting is this old 2010 Mac has really just been a workhorse for me over all the years. And at this point, I just kind of leave it around just in case I need to access old projects. But I recently made a video called How to Stream DAW Audio from a PC, and that video has blown up. It's actually become one of my top videos here on YouTube. And of the hundreds of comments I get on there, one of the top one that I've gotten dozens and dozens of times is how can I do this on a Mac? Because if you're using a PC, you actually have to use a plugin. You have to throw it on your master stereo out track and you have to route it and you have to throw it into OBS and all this kind of stuff. And it's pretty cumbersome. But what's cool about Mac is with one piece of software today, we're gonna be able to solve this that you can stream everything from your Mac. Not even just your DAW, but your microphone, or maybe just your line in, talking to the Mac itself. Anything you need, we're gonna be able to do it with one piece of software. So let's jump in, let's show exactly how to do it, and hopefully this helps you to get streaming as soon as possible. Let's do it. So here we are inside a DAW, I just have Logic Pro pulled open here. And as you can hear, it's not gonna be super loud, but if I just start playing some of the audio. You'll notice it's just coming straight out of the Mac itself. Now, of course, if you have an audio interface, that would be a much better option because then you can wear headphones, then you can have your studio monitors or any other device connected to it and it's gonna be higher quality audio. But for simplicity, I have this audio coming straight out of this iMac. So you might be wondering, how can I stream audio directly from here to put into OBS Studio? So you'll notice if I open up OBS Studio and we just have two options here, we just have a display capture, you know, a, a screencast that I have of the whole Mac, which is what I imagine many of you will be doing in your streams. And then we have an audio output capture. Now the challenge with this is if I just start playing within Logic, if I just start playing the audio, let's put it on mute just so we can see the levels and you can hear me talking. You'll notice that the levels are going up and down so we, the audio is clean, it's coming out. But if we go to OBS, you'll notice that nothing is coming out. And that's very frustrating because you're just trying to stream and your audio is not coming out because we haven't connected it yet. So the best way to connect this, we have a free piece of software that we need to download called Soundflower, and we have a paid piece of software called Audio Hijack. Now this will work for all OSs, not just the latest. Um, all we have to do is go download Soundflower. You can get that at rogueamoeba.com. The link is down in the description below. Now you'll notice that Soundflower was actually discontinued at the end of 2015. So it's an older plugin that you can download to your system. However, there is a link here at GitHub that is still valid for all OS versions since then. So all you gotta do is download this installer called Soundflower Bed. And once that is installed, you will know it's installed if you go to your search bar, you type in Soundflower, it's installed. We don't even have to open it up. It will automatically work as long as we have it installed. Now the other piece of software we have to get is called Audio Hijack. So this is also by Rogue Amoeba, which is why it works so well together. And this option here, basically, as it says, if you can hear it, you can record it. So when we have this running, we can throw in any application we want. We can throw in our microphone and we can set any output device we want. So if you only use Audio Hijack, the problem is you can't set the output device to OBS. It doesn't work that way. It has to end up as a driver, 
essentially. So the way that we do this is we download Soundflower. And if for some reason you just don't wanna use Soundflower, the other option is to use Loopback, which is also by Rogue Amoeba, but I wanna save you some money. I don't think you need it. So what we're trying to do is within OBS, we are going to have the audio output capture. We're gonna set that to Soundflower. Choose the two channel option. And then all we have to do is open up a session of Audio Hijack once we have that installed. And we want our end session to look something like this. So what I have here is an internal mic. So you can create that by going over here to input device and dragging it and setting that to whatever microphone you wanna use. If you have an audio interface and you have that plugged up, use that, great. If you have a USB mic, like a Blue Yeti, as many people use, you can use that. Or just your internal microphone from your laptop or um, your iMac, you can use that. And then down here is the system audio. This is really the one we wanna focus on. You can click and drag that over here, make sure it is on. And it's literally gonna grab every piece of audio from your web browser to your iTunes to your DAW, which is exactly what we want. And what we're doing is we are dragging these little squares around to where the lines are associated and they go in a map. They go in order to the end device, which is going to be sound flowers. So all we have to do is grab an output device, which is this guy right here, drag it in, set it to sound flower two channel, and then we're done. But some other options are, for example, you if you want to hear what's happening, if you want to hear what your streamers, what your audience is listening to, then you will have to have an audio interface. And you can drag that output device. When I used the Mac for my streaming, I used to use my mobile pre audio interface. And all I had was this little two input, two output device that I had my headphones plugged into. And that way when I talk into my microphone, I could hear my own voice, but I could also hear what my audience was hearing within OBS. That way you know if you're peaking or clipping, or if your audio goes out. So if you're new to streaming, you might not need it, but if you're getting into more advanced streaming, you're definitely gonna want to add that to your arsenal. And the last little bit here, I used to use this MP3 recorder. That way, whenever I had a stream, it would also record an MP3 that I had on my desktop and I could turn that into a podcast or I could turn that into another piece of media. Very, very useful. So perhaps this is a little overwhelming. Let's step back a little bit. Let's actually create a blank session. So if we're inside Audio Hijack, let's click new session, new blank session, and let's try to recreate this. So I'm going to grab an internal mic for my input device. And then I'm going to grab system audio. That's gonna take everything from my audio, all of my different applications. And then I'm going to grab an output device. That's gonna be, if I double click, go put that to sound flower, and then I'm done. But it's not gonna work unless I hit that record button. So watch out for that. You've gotta have that record button on to connect all the devices. So what should be happening is if we go back to Logic, which is still playing in the background on loop, it's coming out just fine. And if we go back to OBS, so now I know that my audio is coming very cleanly through here because not only is my microphone coming through because we can see it on the audio capture, how it's going up and down, but we also know that the music from my DAW session is also coming through. Well, there you go. It really is that simple if you want to stream your DAW audio from a Mac. All you need is Soundflower or Loopback if you want the paid option and you need Audio Hijack. So links are in the description below if you wanna download those. And I'm not even a partner with them, but I just know that they work and I hope that that is valuable for you. If this video was helpful for you, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips like this every Wednesday. Until next week, check out this playlist of all of my music tech tips that will help you take your business further and faster. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time.